Hello everyone and thank you for joining me today. Now the other day when I was doing my um, brow video, by the way I've done them already this morning, only thing I've done, um, I had a couple of requests because please would I do a tutorial on the makeup look that I was wearing on that video. So of course I can, um, I'm going to do that now so I hope you enjoy this video. Okay so first on in, I didn't use Charlotte Tilbury's foundation. I used these two foundation sticks by Tom Ford, which as you know, I got last year, uh, still loads left. And I got one that was too dark and one that was too light. So I apply them in a certain way that actually works. Um, you can just mix them together if you do that, but I do it this way and I will show you now. Then I look around and see where it just doesn't, looks too much like one shade is not blended in very well with the other. And I put that right. Okay, then to complete the Tom Ford base, I'm using Tom Ford's Tawny um, Emotion Proof Concealer, which is very, very good. And what I did is I just dotted it here and here and here. And then I take a sponge and dab. Okay, and then I used this setting powder, which I got in my subscription box, which is the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder, but it's in glow. So it gives you, it keeps the glow as well as setting your foundation. And I'm going to put that on now. Okay, and then before I get working on my eyes, I used some Charlotte Tilbury airbrush bronzer in tan, and I actually used the bronzing brush, I remember, her airbrush bronzer, just to warm up the face and just give the face a bit more depth, really. I do love this brush, actually. I haven't used it for a while, but I did the other day, and it does apply it beautifully. over the nose and a bit under the chin okay so 
so now to the eyes okay so first on in i use this new eyes to mesmerize by charlotte in copper sunrise on the lids and i just dabbed it on with my fingers so i shall do that next And I put a little bit with my pinky, a little bit underneath. Be careful if you've got nails doing this. Okay, so that was the first step. Now I actually like that on its own. I could quite easily put up with that on its own, but because I've got very hooded lids, so by hooded, you know what I mean. So you've got this hood coming down. What will happen is it will start splitting throughout the day and crease because it's a cream formula. So to prevent that from happening, what I did is I took the Pillow Talk Eye Jewels, which is almost the identical colour, and just set it with that, with my fingers See, it doesn't change the colour much at all, but it will just mean that it lasts a bit longer before creasing. And they do go beautifully together, these two. It This reminds me so much of the Tom Ford um, duo the, that you can get. The, um, oh, I can't think of the name, but I'm going to put it underneath. You know the one I mean. There's a, there's a, a cream and a powder in one little set that you can get and I did a demo and compared it to Charlotte's Rose Gold a while back and it might even be cheaper to get the Tom Ford as to get the eye jewels and to get this I'm just making sure that it's reasonably dry feels reasonably dry with my fingers so that it doesn't crease okay so that was the second step and of course, again, if you want to just set the the bit you've done underneath, you can just go over that with the powder as well. Okay, that's the second step. So moving on to the next bit. Okay, then I just took this shade here and put it into the socket. So this, sorry, this is the Charlotte Darling palette. I should say, so the Charlotte Darling palette, the middle shade, which is this one. As you can see, this goes beautifully with those other eyeshadows. So it will just make sure that you get matte into the socket, especially good if you've got hooded lids. And then build that up in the corner. and in the corner like that and then what I did is I took the chocolate brown and I just dabbed a little bit onto the end of the brush and then just did that literally dabbed it on the end there just to give a bit more intensity in the hood and then I dug it right nestled it right in there just to give the suggestion of a bit more of a shadow see so dab dab a bit more because that eye's watering and then nestle just into the socket okay and then with my pinky I just use the prime shade to highlight my brow and then in here now the other day my eyes were very watery so I didn't want to use eyeliner so I lined with this one here um, with a liner brush I'm going to do that now okay so just taking this chocolate 
colour at the end, the darkest shade of the Charlotte Darling palette. I just nestled this liner brush as close as possible into the lash line. I always find that when my eyes are very sensitive, that putting on a powder shadow as a liner is actually better for me. But if you wanted, you could use Barbarella Brown, Pillow Talk, or any other brown liner that you have for this look. I actually think if you've got older crepey lids as I have, I actually think that a powder liner looks more flattering because you can get you can get a straighter edge to it. I think that sort of pencil liners can drag and then you can't get a straight line because you don't have the taut lids. So actually, I think there's an advantage to it. And then I did a little bit of a suggested flick, but obviously with a powder, it's just a kind of suggested flick rather than a a really defined one. And then a little bit underneath to link it up. I always like to link it up because it just doesn't look right on me if I don't link up what I've done above to below. Some people can get away with it. I've seen Sophia doing that, but it just doesn't work on me. Take that bit further in. There we go. Okay, now to mascara. Okay, I did exact, I'm going to do exactly what I used the other day. Um, again, you could use any mascara, but this one is the one that I use when I've got very sensitive eyes. It's called Eye Care. They've got a site that do all sorts of makeup for sensitive eyes. And this one is their, called their Mascara High Tolerance Mascara. And they said that if you haven't tried one of their mascaras yet, then to start on this one because it is the most sensitive one they do. Um, and I, because my eyes were streaming, this is the one I used. Now, it's not going to give you great lift or oomph to your brows because it hasn't got all those waxes and things that actually lift and thicken the, the lashes. But unfortunately, those are the things that also irritate the eyes. I still think it looks decent. Don't know what that background noise is. I shall go and investigate in a minute. But obviously you might want to use the Pillow Talk Mascara or the Maybelline Sky High, which is really good. I'll show you the Maybelline Sky High one because this one, I want a bit more today. My eyes are not as, as sensitive as they were the other day. And I just think it frames a look better when you've got a bit more of an oomphy mascara on. But it's not bad. And it won't, it won't irritate your eyes. Right. Let me put a bit of the Maybelline Sky High on and I'll be right back. Okay, next is the lip liner. Now, I love this lip liner so much. It's called Super Size Me. But at the moment, all you can see is resize me on the thing. So I really need to stock up soon. But you'll see why I love it. It's, I think, for medium skin, It was bef this was bought out before medium pillow talk. And I absolutely love it. And I happen to know that it's one of Sophia Tilbury's favourites as well. Little story as well, before Medium Pillow Talk lip liner came out, not the original, but the medium one, I nicknamed this Medium Pillow Talk. And it's very, very similar, but it's got a little bit more pink in it. And it just is, it really does define the lips and you can really cheat bigger lips. Look, I'll show you.
Okay, so that's the lip liner that I used. And then I used Glowing Gen, which I'll just get and I'll be right back. Okay, so Glowing Gen is going to look a little bit darker with Super Size Me underneath. But again, I happen to know that this is a Sophia Tilbury favourite combo. She uses Glowing Gen and Super Size Me as a combo a lot and I love it too. So here we are. And now all that is left for me to do is a blush. I didn't put on any highlighter because the blush has got a bit of a highlighter component to it. I'll show you that in a second. I'll be right back. Okay, I used the Pillow Talk Original because you know she also did a dark version of this. But the Pillow Talk Original, and if you can see this middle kind of pop thing, is like a highlighter anyway. So there's no need to use a separate highlighter. And I just swished it actually on the whole lot. Rather than just the swish and then the pop. And then dab it off on my hand and then up we go. And then if you want a little bit of a separate highlighter, I just dab a little bit in the centre with my blush brush and squeeze it and just do that. And that is my look. I am just going to put some setting spray on and then I will take a photo. And that was the look that was requested from the other day. I hope that's been helpful for you all. And I hope you all have a lovely day. I'm feeling lovely and glam now. Take care. Love you all. Mwah!